Hi everyone, this is Richard Black and today I want to show you a little project that will help you with your resume when it comes to making purse handles, briefcase handles, um, any type of strap good that you need a, a leash or a handle on. And the one I'm going to make today is um, one I made a long time ago for a purse and it's an adjustable handle your projects. So let's go ahead and make this today. What I'm going to do is Okay, we're back at the work table. I cut two pieces out of four or five ounce veg tan leather three quarters of an inch wide 24 inches long each piece and then I cut two belt keepers that are approximately about two and a half inches long. Example today, and this is what your belt keeper will be going into on the end. After we sew the belt keeper together. We're putting my thread through. Okay, now we're going to sew the belt keepers together. And what I did is cut off, um, oh, maybe 12 inches of waxed thread. I have my needles. Normally I won't lock my thread on a needle if I'm only sewing belt keepers, but I will show you how to do it if you don't know. Um, just hold the needle come back on the thread. I use my thumbnail to make an indentation and then I just pull up the thread so the needle is going through the middle of the thread. Hope you can see this. Just pull it up to the top, pull your excess out, and then it locks the thread onto your needle. Okay, what I like to do is start by coming through the inside to the out on one of the ends. And then I'm just going to crisscross over the top. Cut off my needles and I just tie a square knot nice and tight and then just cut off the ends and there's our belt keeper and for the other one to go through it okay we have both of our belt keepers made and now we're going to attach them to the ends we're going to slip one on and then we're going to fold over the end as you see there and we'll just do a hole punch in the end here Okay, here we have the two belt keepers put on the ends. Everything's identical other than one belt keeper with the home base for the Conway buckle. The keeper is on top. On the opposite, the second strap, the keeper is on the bottom. See the difference? This is rough side, smooth side. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the Conway buckle on. A 
This will go all the way to the home base. It'll end up looking like that. And then we'll go every four inches. I use my calipers to find the center. I go on each side. On the opposite ends, we're going to be attaching the round trigger snaps. So we'll go ahead and get ready to put those on. Same thing as the other end. All we're doing is coming around, folding it. looking like that. Now, in the opposite one around, that the trigger snap is going to go on to, and you can go through let's say to the first hole the belt keeper and we'll go ahead and put our round trigger snap okay you see what we did about the second strap came through the Conway buckle on top, came through the belt keeper into our snap. Go back to the opposite end. Run your strap underneath on the second belt keeper, the one that is going under. And then we'll go ahead and add through pull this slack through and we have a long briefcase handle there you have it don't forget to dress up your edges use your edge beveler you can create lines in here, you can stamp these, you can do whatever you'd like to do. It's a great handle. Easy one to make. There you go. Thank you now.